friends ask me, what do you think of Shark Tank? I have to tell you, okay, it's an entertaining show. I watch it in airports, but relative to the message that it sends for entrepreneurs, it's a very dangerous program. It sends the wrong message. So here is a program that is putting entrepreneurs, people that already have businesses, that are already started businesses, that have real customers, and they're putting them on the spot with a take it or leave it offer. Never ever put yourself in a position where you are having to decide take it or leave it under huge amounts of pressure with everybody watching because you're likely going to make the wrong decision. Another thing that Shark Tank does is ultimately it doesn't allow entrepreneurs to do what they should be doing, which is talking to a lot of potential investors, not the four people that are on the Shark Tank panel. No, talk to all sorts of different potential investors. And ultimately, you want to start with investors that you know personally and not deal with strangers on a take it or leave it basis. You want to do your homework in finding the best possible valuation and the best possible deal. It's another thing they do on Shark Tank is that they change the deal terms. And these are you know, a loan or, or, you know, for this amount of um, shares. These things take reflection. Even the most experienced serial entrepreneur needs to go and work out with a pencil and paper what each offer means. Shark Tank is exactly what you don't want to do as an entrepreneur. And it's ultimately sending a very bad message to our startup community out there that, hey, this is how you become successful, is these are the sorts of deals that you have to accept. These are the sorts of people that you want to bring into your business. That doesn't make more successful businesses, but it certainly helps Mark Cuban have a great return on his investment.